Hi everybody, this is Will Bowen with today's Jumpstart. Svad Yaya. What is that? <laughs> it is the fourth of the Hindu Niyamas. The Niyamas, as we've talked about, are those uh, uh, spiritual instructions from the Hindu faith, which are there to tell us what we should do. Not just what we shouldn't do, but what we should do. Svadhyaya is self-study. Again, think about this. Now, the Ten Commandments do not say, thou shalt study thyself. Thou shalt look deeply and reflectively upon one's soul, motives, and intentions, and try and become the very best person you can. No, unfortunately, that's not in there. But it is in the Hindu Niyamas, Svatiyaya. It means looking inside what is called the Jahari window. And the Jahari window is this concept that there are four areas of us, each of our personalities. There's that part of us that nobody sees, not us, not anybody else. Then there's the part that we see that nobody else sees. Then there's the part that other people see that we don't see. And then there's the part that we both see, that other people see about us. And what we are supposed to do in Svatyaya is to look at ourselves deeply and to understand ourselves. I don't know about you, but it has been amazing to me. I've had problems in my life. So have you, okay? I'm not complaining and I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm stating a fact. I've had some big problems in my life. And ultimately, the solution to those problems have always come down to me looking at myself and figuring what I can change in myself or in my situation to make things better. So if you've got problems, you need to look at yourself. That's just the bottom line. The most shared, and I think it's like 20,000 views, thing I've ever posted on Facebook, and I think it's pinned to the top, is that uh, if you're looking for a person who can solve all your problems, their photo is on your driver's license. That is so true. But first, we have to look at ourselves before we can change ourselves, and that takes courage. And I believe you have that kind of courage. Give it a try today. Really look at yourself. See where you're not a victim, but you are actually the cause of things in your life. Because once you begin to accept responsibility, you can begin to exercise control. So what do you think? Post your questions and your comments below. I respond to them all personally. And I look forward to connecting with you. Enjoy today. And we'll talk tomorrow. Bye-bye.